And that one, that's where you have the kettle there. You have to, have to put the sample post. Then create the space.
The lightweight metal is increasingly used in the automobile and electronics industries, for example, eventually making its way to the scrapyard. The problem is, aluminum is made up of hundreds of different alloys. And these alloys could never be cleanly separated from each other until now. When scrap aluminum was melted down for recycling, large amounts of primary aluminum had to be added in order to create the right mixture for various aggregates. The correct alloy for window frames and related products, for example. But the production of primary aluminum from the raw material bauxite is extremely energy intensive. So if new window frames can be made from old ones without additional primary aluminum, that would not only save a considerable amount of material, but large amounts of energy as well. This is exactly the challenge faced by engineers in Dormagen, who have created a new recycling facility. Their goal is to not only separate plastics and other metals from the old aluminum frames, but also from aluminum alloys containing heavy metals that are unsuitable for the production of window frames. In the first part of the process, shears and a conventional shredder cut up the frames. Magnetic separators and eddy current separators then extract the metal screws and hinges, as well as rubber, wood, and plastic from the material flow. The resulting shredder waste is almost entirely made up of aluminum, but it also contains scraps of aluminum 